the director of the production goes on a unique journey through the glory of the Italian Renaissance with Da Vinci and Michelangelo as your guides, featuring videos, 3D animation, film clips and images of Michelangelo and Da Vinci's many sketches, inventions, machines, sculptures, codices and paintings. Mark's energy and passion are infectious and you'll quickly find yourself immersed in an inspirational world. Honestly, this show is set to inspire and to entertain. And I have been speaking to the director, producer and co-writer of the Da Vinci Michelangelo Experience, who is set to come to Sheffield on September the 14th at the Foundry. Here's me speaking to Mark just a little bit earlier on today. So right now I am joined by legend Mark Rogers, the producer, director and co-writer of the Da Vinci Michelangelo Experience. It's been in theatres over in Broadway in the States and it's coming to the UK for the very first time. Thanks, Mark, for joining me. Buongiorno, buongiorno, buongiorno. It's great to be with you. So you completed your 100 performance at the Soho Playhouse over in New York City. Just tell us a little bit about the Da Vinci Michelangelo experience. What can we expect when you bring this to Sheffield? Well, thanks for asking. It is a totally unique experience. It is a nonstop multimedia theatrical event. We go through over 146 images and movies and and slides. Most people know Da Vinci and those people know uh, uh, by, by the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. But few people that know that he had over 44,000 drawings and, and, and inventions. They say there's over 2,500 of Da Vinci's designs, inventions, and theories that we use every day in our modern day life. And we talk about, the, the, the more I found out about these guys, the more I wanted to find out about them. And they both lived at the same time. And most of them, they hated each other. They were the total opposite of each other. They, uh, uh, Da Vinci was tall and handsome and gregarious, and everybody wanted to be associated with Da Vinci. They said he even sang beautifully. Michelangelo was the total opposite. He was disheveled, slovenly. He literally slept, slept in his clothes. He, he literally said during his entire life that he hated the way that he looked. So we're kind of, and so they had these, the, these two major uh, icons of the, of the Italian Renaissance. They were going to head to head with each other every day. It was it's it, it's amazing the more you find out about them, and we're going to cover all that. So this show's been going on for ten years, and I take it there's a lot of information that you find out as the show is going on, new bits of information which then you can include in the show. Yes, we are constantly comparing them. We didn't say that we did not want to put the show up and it's be a, a, a historical biography. It's not. We are constantly comparing them from them to today. We're talking about how they influenced our people today. By the end of the show, no, I'm not kidding. We're talking about uh, Jacques Cousteau and Van Cliburn and Paul McCartney and Les Paul. And we're talking about how they all, they, uh, how all of them, all this mashed together. Uh, to bring us where uh, to bring us to, to where we are today in the world. So it's incredible to know that even today we are still using Da Vinci's many inventions and designs. Without giving too much away, give us an example of some of the things that we use on a daily basis that Da Vinci created. Oh my God! Well, the um, just give, the the actual tuning mechanism that keeps guitars and musical instruments in tune was was designed by Da Vinci. He designed the original ball bearing. He designed the bicycle. He designed the original link chain. But the big thing is, <laughs> and we're going to talk about this at we're going to have the, the at the show, that he designed the original helicopter, wow. which he called he, he called the air screw. And we're talking <laughs> about but there it could actually screw up into the air was the other thing. And but he, when we looked at it, and we have exact, we have NASA footage on the first helicopter flight over the red planet Mars like a, a year and a half ago, it was a Da Vinci's exact, I don't mean it looks kind of like it, it is his exact design. I think it's absolutely incredible that we're still using designs that was created in the late 1400s, early 1500s. He, he designed the, um, the, he designed the movement for the piston. He designed the, um, he, he designed the uh, the flywheel for the car. He designed wow. the cam hammer. 
the, the camshaft for the um uh for our automobiles. And the one thing which you bring on the show, I'm not gonna tell you now, but the show that that we think he actually designed the original automobile. That's what they thought about of about eight or nine or ten years ago. They actually came to this drawing of this of this of this spring lock machine. And they thought it, it's, it, it was like a, a spring loaded cart. He said, Oh my God, of course he invented the car. Well, he didn't. He did not foresee the automobile as we know today. But wait do you see what he used, what he used that car design for, which is one of the highlights of the performance. And during the show as well, you use modern technology, you use 3D animation, film clips, images to bring these inventions to life. Uh, we're constantly engaging with the audience. From the very beginning, we are, we are, we are engaging. The best way to describe it is, is a multimedia performance is what it is, 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 is what it is. We start out in the audience. We move, we move up to the stage. It is, it, it's totally interactive and it's so much fun. We are making, we're making jokes. We are, um, and, and, and the end of it is quite how it all comes together at the, how it all comes together at the end is, is 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 truly amazing so let's go back 10 years to before all this began what made you come up with the idea that actually we're going to bring these two characters to life now we were running my brother and i were running the da vinci machines exhibition from florence italy it had come over here and it was a traveling exhibition and they had all these inner working da vinci machines and all the and it was it was like a museum it was like, like a museum and it was two tractor trailer loads so, and so, good. so we would go and we would set it up from one city. We started in St. Louis. We went to Denver. We went to Tampa, Florida. We went to Atlanta, went to Chicago with this, with this thing. And, and, um, the more that I got into it, the more I got involved, we started to give tours about, um, about Da Vinci and the, um, and about the show. And we, we'd walk through, we have docent guided tours. I got so much into the tour and I got so much into, Getting, I, I, I'd go home at night and I, and I knew a lot about Da Vinci, but I didn't know a lot about Michelangelo. But I go and I, I then, oh my goodness, this, this sounds really good, you know, about Michelangelo. I said, I'm going to tell the people on my tour about this tomorrow, you know, and then I'd write something that I thought was really good or something like that. And I thought, oh my God, they'll love that. And I'd say it during the, like the tour and it would fall absolutely flat. I mean, it would just, you know, it would just find like, oh, well, I, I said, well, I'm not going to say that again, you know. So then I'd say something that people really related to. And then like the one, the crazy part about it was, it was, it was kind of crazy. There was this one and that, that really hit me, uh, really the, the, the power of words. And the one, uh, there was, I was giving this, this tour to this very small group of people. And this one girl, one woman in the group was absolutely, totally attractive, very beautiful girl. And she was kind of engaged to what I was saying and everything. And at the one point I said to her, I said to the group in part of my tour, I said, um, you know, I said, you know, Michelangelo, he actually hated the way that he looked during his, his entire life. And, and when I said that, I looked over at this page, her jaw dropped to the ground, this beautiful girl. And I thought, how could I said that would cause that re effect on her? And I said, I said, does everybody in their life hate the way they look? Oh my God, you know, I read, I read this article about Diana, Princess Diana, who was one of the most beautiful women in the world. And I read this article that she hated the way she looked. I went, oh my God, I said, are we screwed up in this world or what? <laughs> I, couldn't, you know, I couldn't believe it. And I thought, well, all the, I had all these little moments. And then I started to put him in this, in this, in, in my tour. And then people, we had like in, like in Denver, for instance, we had like five docents. We had college kids that were given, but I'd give my tours. I'd give like two tours a day, two or three tours a day. But we had these, um, these college kids who come in and, well, anyway, I got so into the tour, people would call the exhibit and said, you know, hey, I'm bringing my family over the weekend. And uh, I know that you have tours all day and you have other docents, but uh, I was told that we have to uh, make sure I go on this. Uh, we understand this is this crazy man that guy kind of gives tours <laughs> on the tour. We want a book on his tour. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> so we started making reservations for my tour. So we got down to Florida and I got this, uh, this firm out there to put this multimedia presentation together for us. Cause every time I would go someplace around the country, I'd have to bring two tractor trailer loads with me. And I went, Hey, this is not going to work, you know? 
So I put everything in this multimedia thing. And then I got down to Florida at the Van Wesel, which is one of the biggest, uh, it's like, it's a, it's a huge on the, on the West coast of Florida there. And, um, they called me when I went down there and the, the, the exhibit was such a uh, success down there. The, um, the, the Van Wesel called me and they said, you don't have anything. You can come over here to our theater, do you? And I said, well, a matter of fact, I do. And we put it out at the Van Wesel, which is about an 1800, uh, excuse me, 1200 seat theater. They put it out, um, on the thing and we were sold out, I think in four hours in the show that we'd never presented before. And it's just been great. Then we made it to New York. We got signed by Columbia artists. And so we've been doing this for 10 years. So you right now, you are seeing over there. We are so excited. You are seeing the absolute best of the best. You're seeing 10 years of blood, sweat, and tears. And we're going to have so much fun. It's going to be, if I, it's going to be, I guarantee you, it's going to be the shortest two hours of your life. It must have been quite emotional for you as well once you got to that 100th show mark and thought, you know, guys, we've done it. <laughs> it's absolutely, you know, the funniest part, there's, if you ever get to New York, you know, there's this place there called Joe Allen's. It's run on Russian Row at 46th and 8th Street. And it's the theater, theater, theater place there. And, um, and everybody's, and so uh, our, our opening night, um, our agent our, at a Columbia um, artist um, invited John and I out to, for a dinner there at the thing. And the guy said, I mean, these huge stars are, are sitting next to us having dinner and, um, and next to his dinner. And he says to me, um, he goes, um, hey, and there's these posters all over the walls, everywhere, everywhere they're supposed to go around. And the agent, we're new, but we want to be in, you know, we want to tell me, oh, we know everything we know. And he says to me, um, hey, do you recognize any of those posters on the wall? And it always seemed like a dummy, you know what I mean? But I did. I didn't recognize one poster. And I said, well, why? I said, well, I said, why? I got to be in it. I said, Gary, I, I actually, I don't. I don't recognize one of them. He goes, you know why you don't? And I said, no. He goes, to make the wall, your show, to make the wall on the poster of Joe Allen's, your show had to open and close the same night. <laughs> 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 so if anybody asks me, how's the show? How did you do in New York? I always tell them, we're not on the wall at Joe Allen's. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. Well, now you are bringing this show to the UK for the very first time. And uh, you're starting in Winchester. Well, the response has been unbelievable. Go to our website, discoverdavinci.com. Go to our website and we're right on the front page. And there's a link to every one of the shows. Uh, we're doing over 25 shows uh, uh, throughout the UK, and there's a direct link to it. So just find the city that you're in, click on the link, and it takes you right to the theater. Well, Mark, it's been an inspiring insight into your show. I guarantee, I, I guarantee it, it's going to change your life, the way you look at the world. I guarantee it. So if there's anyone listening right now that wants to be inspired and they want to come and see the show, they want to see where the, the tour dates are and how they can buy tickets, that's at... www.discoverdavinci.com D-I-S-C-O-V-E-R-D-A-V-I-N-C-I.com Mark, it's been an absolute pleasure. We can't wait to see you. We are totally pumped to get over there. Mark, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you. Hey... Ciao, baby. Doesn't that sound absolutely incredible? So the Da Vinci Michelangelo experience appearing in a theatre near you and, of course, coming to Sheffield on September the 14th. DiscoverDaVinci.com is that website you need to be on. Now, Rother Radio are giving you the chance to win a pair of VIP tickets to go and see the Da Vinci Michelangelo experience at the Foundry in Sheffield on September the 14th. Not only are we going to give you the best seat in the house, but we're also going to send you on a meet and greet as well. This is not to be missed. If you want to enter and find out more about the Da Vinci Michelangelo experience, or if you want to purchase tickets, you can head to our website rollerradio.co.uk forward slash win. The big Drive home with Map Services Yorkshire. Working alongside.